Hi, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another 20 Minutes Till Dawn video. It's been a little while. I haven't really played too much since the uh, the rework to Luna. Ah, you know, A, haven't been in the mood. B, not to be rude, but 20 Minutes Till Dawn is kind of falling off a little bit on YouTube analytically. So just trying to do some other stuff. But hey, I'm always willing to come back when new stuff comes out for the game. And we've got a lot of cool stuff happening right now. We have two new perk trees, which I think is the first time, uh, at least since, since like early access for the game is launched. I think it's the first time that they've added a new perk trees. This game's in early access, right? Hold on a second. Are we, is this a full launch? Or are we in early access right now? I think we're early access, right? Oh God, oh God, get, get this out of here, sorry. We're early access, okay, cool. Sorry about that. Um, so. What's I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. So since early access launch, two new perk trees. We have the holy arts and the dark arts. They both have a unique mechanic they revolve around. Holy arts revolves around smiting, smiting. Da, 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 da. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's where that messes me up. Smiting, 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 and the dark arts revolves around curses. Uh, curses are basically just like an on hit effect. Uh, after a X amount of time, which is not listed by the perk for some reason, and I have no idea when it triggers actually, but, um, Dark Arts, uh, after X amount of time, with a, with a percent chance on hit, uh, enemies take 200% bullet damage, so it's pretty cool. I did do a test run with the game to, to see what some of this new stuff did. Uh, Dark Arts, though, did not impress me very much. I had, I struggled a lot. I put a lot of investment into Dark Arts, did not go very well for me. However... Holy Arts, the smite mechanic is really cool, the way it works. When you reload your gun, you deal uh, damage to all enemies around you in a pretty pretty uh, decent range, honestly. Uh, all enemies get hit, and the damage is based off of your max HP. Although I think, uh, you know, it might, be, it might be base 20 at first, and then there's a perk that gives it to you that gives you uh, based off of your, your HP instead. It might not even be max HP, I think it's, I think it's just actually just eight normal HP. Don't, we need, I need to look at it again. Sorry. Uh, but those are the new, those are the new trees. Uh, Smite tree and Curse tree. Then we have new synergy perks, three of which uh, revolve around the uh, new trees, and then two of which are just entirely based on already existing perks in the game. We have Death Plague, which I've seen. Death Plague is the combination of the capstone in the Dark Arts tree and reaper rounds and it's it's okay although again like i don't i don't love i maybe maybe dark arts is good i don't know maybe i'm dumb didn't like it that much before but uh uh death death plague is whenever an enemy with curse dies from curse it spreads it to other nearby enemies right so it causes like a chain reaction in theory but in reality didn't do shit for me uh <laughs> We have Generator, which is Recharge, which is one of the pickup perks, one of like the Magnet Tree perks, combined with Energize, which is the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The battery bullets. The, 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 you know, whenever lightning hits, you get a chance to get uh, ammo back. Uh, no idea what that does. We have, probably butchering how you say this, Kunoichi, which is In the Wind plus Assassin. No idea what that one does, but it's that one's also pre-existing perks. And then we have two based on the Holy Arts. We have two synergies for the Holy Arts. We have Sword and Shield, which uh, was really good. Uh, it seems really cool to me. And Titan, which is uh, another Holy Arts tree plus the Giant perk. I'm not going to tell you what they do because we're going to try to get them on this run. I want it to be a little bit of a surprise, so... Keep, 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 keep taking a long time in the intro, sorry. But there's a lot to talk about in the new content. I wanted to go over it real quick. Taking a peek at the perk tree. Since we're playing Shotgun Diamond here, we're going to go Power, Elemental Barrage, Glass Cannon, and Cadence on the left side. Over on the right side, we're going Courage, uh, Momentum, Healing, and Growth. I thought about Ethereal, but I want to reload a lot, right? That's sort of the whole point. So we're going to go Cadence. And without further ado... Let's hop in here. Let's get in. Let's get let's get active. Let's get animated. Uh, maybe maybe uh, like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We already hit the one K sub goal, uh, which is very cool. I mean, subs are good, but I would much prefer you know you sub not because I'm asking you to, but because you want to. I guess right. That makes sense. And if I'm 
Oh, we probably want to take... Uh, rapid Fire is just pretty good, but we need Holy Shield for the the synergy perks with uh with the with the new tree and fire rate isn't gonna be that useful i'll take holy shield i don't know but yeah youtube's been going pretty well like i said like i said before i think in the intro maybe i didn't say i don't remember or i thought it at least um 20 minutes has been you know slowing down a little bit which is extremely understandable um, like the not every game can be the Binding of Isaac. Not every game like lasts forever like that game did. So I understand. We're gonna take we're gonna take Electro Mage. Uh, I don't even want Energize in this run though because I don't want infinite infinite bullets. I don't know. Eh, it's fine. I want to see what the new perk does. Maybe the new perk is crazy, right? Maybe it sucks. There's just no way to know. Maybe it's like a every time you fire, there's like a, a it's, 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 the perk is called generator. So maybe every time you fire, you get like a 1% uh, fire rate increase. That'd be pretty cool. I could do some pretty good stuff for you. Okay, here's the holy arts. Let's take a peek at the tree here in general, right? So after shooting your last ammo smite, uh, nearby enemies for 20 damage. Seems pretty unassuming, but then smite deals 10 extra damage for every HP you currently have, right? Over on the right side, increase your max HP by 1 for every 500 enemies killed by Smite. Caps out at 3 max HP gained this way. And then we've got Angelic. Every 500 enemies killed with Smite heals you for 1 HP. This is kind of like where... like you, know, you can see how this obviously synergizes with Diamond pretty well, right? So that's the plan for today's run. We're going to be farming some fools. We're going to be Smiting. Pretty weak at first, but the the... And you can see like how big the range is on it, right? It's hitting enemies really far away from us, which is cool. Um, so it feels a little finicky though sometimes with where it hits. Like, I don't know. Hard, hard to say exactly. Give me a power shot here. That seems pretty simple. Did I say something before? Something really important. In oh yeah, so I remember. Uh, 20 minutes. It's, 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 you know, not getting as many views as it used to, which is extremely fine, right? Um, and I want to do some speedruns for the game sometime soon as well. You got to take justice here. The sooner we get this, the better. Energize me, we do want to take it for the, uh, the thing that I forget the name of now. But, uh, justice also important. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm planning probably long term for 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 uh 20 minutes till dawn speed running i did the uh i did the all character speed run and then like a couple days later luna got added and i fucking lost my mind not really but like it was kind of funny um so i'm gonna wait till the next character probably comes up before doing any more speed runs for 20 minutes but um yeah i don't know We'll do we'll do we'll do some cool new build videos with the new the new perks and then we'll probably go back to waiting till the next the next content comes out. And uh, you know If that's if that is, you know, a little sad, you know, sometimes this is how life is, right? No biggie. Also, get away from you freaks. We should be we should be like not shooting them. We should be trying to let the the smite get the kill here. Take light bolts. Light bolts is fine. You can see how it feels kind of finicky sometimes, right? About how far the smite goes. I don't know. It's weird. I should just be shooting them, actually. I'm not realizing. We should just be shooting. Because I don't want to lose experience by just being a dumbass. What do, you, what do you think in our first perk is here? You know, obviously we're hoping for one of the 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 two good perks off of off of Cthulhu, but it doesn't matter too much. The nice thing about Diamond is that you can go either way, and the perks are pretty good. Like you can hit bad in the first one, as long as you kill Coffee, you get a good second perk. So I don't know. What do we got? Berserk. 
I accept. And we get Holy Might here. We're gonna start wiping people out now. Oh, look at this. And for every 500 we kill, we get another max HP. We should probably try to get some shield upgrades as well here. Hey, look at that. Divine Blessing. Perfect timing. Now, now we're like already so efficient at killing with this. We don't have to worry about, uh, what's it called? We don't have to worry about like getting less kills and falling behind because we're not shooting the enemies. Like Smite is more than handling them. Angelic, there you go. Healing, healing uh, for one every 500 smite kills. A little bit of a low rate, honestly, compared to like, I feel like Soothing Warmth heals way more often. I'm not gonna complain too much. We do need this for one of the uh, Synergy perks as well, I believe. Which I'm, I, did I see that one? Uh, yeah, I have, I have seen this one actually, okay, yeah. I have seen both of the Holy Art uh, perks. Out of these, I, you know, we have, we do have, what's it called? Forget the name of it. Damn. What was I gonna say? Shit. All right, it's a little late. This 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 uh this new hot content dropped like at close to midnight. So not not that I I don't normally stay up this late. I do usually stay up pretty late, but I'm usually not recording this late. Although I you know that that being said, I was about to go record uh, Monster Train for tomorrow. Uh, when uh this update dropped, it was like. I think I saw the, the 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 patch like 20 minutes after it happened, which is pretty cool. Or the patch notes, I should say, actually. For all I know, maybe it's been out for a while. Oh, here we go, Sword and Shield. So when Holy Shield is not active, kills with Smite lower the regeneration time for the Holy Shield by one second, right? You can see how that's kind of nuts, right? Because our, our Smites are doing 100 damage. They're killing, they're killing the uh, tentacle monsters with pretty little effort right now. And once we get, uh, what's it called? Uh, goddamn, why is my brain so bad today? Stalwart Shield. Uh, we're gonna be in the money here. The Sword and Shield, pretty, pretty cool synergy perk. Diamond, pretty much unkillable right now, I feel like. With the, with these new, these new perks in the game. Well, I didn't, did I show you Doom yet, actually? I think I might have briefly looked at it, but I forget. So, Dark Arts, the Curse, 25% chance to inflict Curse. Curse deals damage equal to 200% of your bullet damage. I have no idea how long it takes for the damage to trigger. There is a perk that makes it take one second longer, but deal an additional 100% bonus damage, which sounds pretty good. I just don't, it just takes so long. Like, it takes genuinely a very long time for Curse to trigger, but don't love it. Uh, Wither, pretty cool. Uh, it reminds me of, like, uh, Shatter from uh, Yuki, uh, which is pretty cool. And then Ritual, which I thought was amazing when I first read this, but I think it's secretly terrible. Because most of the enemies you don't kill with the curse. You usually just shoot them with your normal gun until they die. So I'm not a Ritual fan, but it is required for the, uh, the Death Plague synergy perk, so... We're taking Fanfire. We do want Mini Clip on this run. We do want Fusillade. So those are two very good perks. Uh, my shield. Can I have it back, please? Surprised we haven't holy. There he is. I was going to say that Sword and Shield should have brought it back by now. Anyway. I'm trying to think if there's anything else going on here. Well, I'll take the Stalwart Shield now. Splinter, obviously pretty good too, but come on. We're going to have so much HP by the end of this. Okay, what do we got here? Tome of Elements, Tome of Speed, Tome of Elasticity. I don't want to take a Tome that lowers my HP here. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be big. I'm trying to go big mode today. 
So diamond starts with seven. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one more max HP to gain off of, uh, was it Justice? Was the one that gives you max HP for smite kills? I forget. Anyway. There's Fuselade. Kinda hard to skip. But yeah, we want we want mini clip on this run as well for, for smite purposes. We're trying to we're going all in on smite. That's that's the plan today. Um What next? Oh there's there's energized. We'll take it. You need to pick up magnet next, I believe. We do get some sort of like sometimes we get some like combos off of energize there, it looks like. Oh just spraying out a lot of bullets. Maybe we got our max HP. I'm trying to think. Yeah, because we're doing 120 off smite now, which means we're at 10 HP. So I guess we don't have to actually actively try to kill with uh I'm supposed to be taking damage. I forgot about Berserk. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Um, that is the thing I'm supposed to try to do. Oh, I do also want to get uh, in the wind here. So we'll snag that. Cool, cool, cool. We're not getting like one shot kills off of smite here against some of these tentacle monsters Which is slightly worrisome Not a big deal though. We'll I'll take big shot Okay It is a shame that like this build does eventually max out its damage, right? Like the smite, your ult, your health can only go so high. There's no there's no infinite max HP scaling on it. Um, sure, quick hands seems good. Fresh clip would be nice for us for sure. Um, well, I, I am kind of worried. We might we might need the bullets just to stop these guys. We'll see. Uh, Siege seems pretty good. Siege plus Fusillade is Pog. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about in this video? Talked about talked about not playing 20 minutes much lately. Oh, one thing I should say, I, I think I mentioned before speedrunning. Uh, there is a page on speedrun.com for speedrunning this game now. If you were curious about it, but looked and saw that there was like no way to submit speedruns to speedrun.com, there now is. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in that, you can go there, you can, you know, submit a run. Uh, spoilers, by the way, uh, uh, do we want to take aim here? Frostbite is probably not bad. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take take aim, I want to get assassin again. I want to see what the new perks are, the new synergies and stuff too. Uh, spoilers, by the way, for the, the uh, speedrun.com page, I am the only moderator on the site right now. So if you want to be a moderator as well, send me a message or whatever. I don't know how speedrun.com works, but I think there's, there's messaging. Be like, hey, you know, I would like to be a mod uh, for speedrun.com. Uh, preferably, you know, specifically people who have, you know, actually like sped, like, you know, have done speedruns before, be preferred. And it's not like there's, you know, a wall of speedruns coming in or anything crazy. So far, so far, the, 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 the thing has been up and ready for like a couple days now. And no one has submitted a run yet, so it's not urgent. I wonder if we're like pretty much unkillable here, right? Because we, we, with the knockback on reload... I feel like no one's ever gonna hit <laughs> with the smites. Yeah, we're pretty much, we're pretty much ungettable. I feel like that's kind of cool. Obviously, projectile attacks are still a thing, but fuck them. I'm gonna smite this damn tree. It's 
probably not possible. I think it has too much health. Um, I was saying something before. Son of a bitch. My brain is a, is a, oh yeah. So speedrun.com. If you want to, if you want to be a mod, message me. So submit speedruns. We have I have categories set up on there for uh, all character, all weapon runs, and single character runs. So uh, and on Darkness Zero and on Darkness Fifteen. Uh, so if you want to speedrun the game, feel free. Would love would love to have some actual work to do on the site because right now I made. I made the banner and and the the background and stuff for the page, and that's it. No one has submitted any runs. Very sad. Not that sad. Not not that surprising either. Kind of a weird game to speedrun, right? It has it has a set duration, so it's kind of strange. Like, what do you do? Um, which is why I I, I made the all character all weapon because it feel it felt like it made the most sense. Um. There's a little bit of like a routing element in regards to like what character you should use which weapons and stuff like that. So I don't know. I thought it made sense. I think it makes more sense to me at least than doing single character runs. But I figure some people, you know, they don't want to spend three hours playing the game in one sitting. Playing it as fast as possible, they'd rather just do like a 20 minute run. And there is, you know, I'm not going to say there's no skill to speedrunning the game with a single character, right? There's, um... Menuing is a thing, right? Let's not take menuing for, for uh, granted here. It's it's important to be in the past in the menus. And uh, there's an element of minimizing level ups, right? You want to beat the game leveling up as little as possible so you get less menus to pop up in the first place. There's, there's, there's like there's some there's some skill involved there and stuff. I'm not gonna say that like, you know there's no reason to speedrun that single character for for the game. I think there's plenty of reason, right? Um but I find it much less interesting, personally. We've got Assassin now. We still need we still need Vitality. Still need to get some. We still need to get the uh, the giant uh, synergy perk with the uh, Holy Arts as well. Not a big deal if we don't get it, but still. Okay. Ooh, okay. So let's start taking some damage here. It's gonna be a while before Smite gets us any actual kills. Oh, there's also a heart in the ground. Hold on. Okay, hit me again. Thank you. Look at how fast... You can't say that's not good. Look at how fast the fucking shield came back, man. That's crazy. And also, just look at how, look at how actually unkillable we are. Reaper rounds pretty good here, I would imagine, but stand your ground is probably a little bit better. There's overall more damage output. We are kind of falling behind here level wise. I feel like only six minutes left, and we're only level twenty eight. Hey, maybe maybe this is a good character for the. Uh, for the the uh, the one run the one character speed run. Now, what's funny about uh, what's funny about a speedrunning this game is that if you play something like this, where you just you know you have this uh, like you know unapproachable circle around you, you might be tempted to be like, oh, I'll just never pick up experience in that way. Uh, I'll never level up. Well, this game hates experience, and if you collect it in too big of a pile, it lags the game to absurd degrees. Um, so that's not a viable strategy. It's kind of interesting. Um, have the game kind of course corrects for stuff like that, right? Like, we're unkillable here. We could just sit in the circle and collect very little experience at the end of the game. But the game will eventually be very upset with us if we continue to do this. We want to pick up some of this, though. We are trying to level up still. Uh, kill clip probably pretty good for us. Faster reload is better. Ooh, hey, hit me. Hit me. Thank you. Saw the heart on the ground over here. I've been healed. Son of a bitch, heal hit me. Thank you. Oh, look who's look who's here. It's the King Bastard Shogi. Uh, I will take run and gun. Because I want to get in the wind. 
So I'd like to move a little bit faster if you don't mind, game. Thank you very much. Ooh, no, thank you. What happened to my shield? Where did my holy shield go? I will say the, the sound effect of Smite is a little bit annoying. Wouldn't hate if maybe it was, uh, ah. Maybe if it was a little bit quieter. Okay, there goes my shield again. Getting a little bit cornered here. A lot of projectiles coming our way. Okay, got hit by a laser beam. L let me out of here, please, for the love of God. Okay, Terry's here. Hello, Terry. I'm losing smite damage. I'm losing smite damage. I would love for you to not be here anymore, Shogi. Someone has to say it, and it's gonna be me. Or should I say, uh, it's gonna be me. I'm sorry. You didn't have to hear that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, uh, have referenced NSYNC to you. That's NSYNC, right? I think it, is it, maybe it's Backstreet Boys, I don't know. Who did, who did that? It's, I, I will say, normally I feel a little bit guilty about, uh, using... Normally I use Twitch chat as a, as a, uh, uh, replacement for Google. But... Uh, we don't have Twitch chat here, so I sometimes use comments as well, and I feel a little guilty for it. But on this one, I just want you to know, if you don't tell me, I'm never going to look it up, and this is on you. This is your fault. I'm never going to know who did uh, It's Gonna Be Me. So you have to leave a comment telling me who, who did that song, please. I'm begging you. Hey, okay, Terry down. Not that the last perk actually matters that much. We'll take it because it's fun. Yeah. I'm, oh, first off, uh, magnet. I wanted I wanted to show the cool the cool other the cool the cool perk for what's it called? What's my character's name? For diamond. Oh, there's vitality finally. Took this fucking long enough. Vitality is one of those perks that I often just go blind to, because like, it's not that useful most of the time. That's gonna, and, and you know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we can get there still. There's plenty of minutes left here. I'm killing like a fucking madman. Oh, perfect. Giant. Okay. Here's our chance. We still want In the Wind. In the Wind is still pretty good here, too. Is our max HP capped? Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What the fuck? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. What? What the fuck? Why do we only have ten HP still? This is an absolute outrage. This is. This is. Is the, is the game not coded to have more than 10 HP potentially? Like what 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 gives? Oh, here's the new perk by the way, Titan. Max HP plus two, move speed plus 25, character size plus 50. It's very cool, I like it. It makes you a very big boy, and it also offsets the speed hit you took from Giant. Which I think is really cool and good. And it's also got a cool art of a big buff man with a spear. Uh, but this, I am livid. Oh, but then now the HP counts? That one counted? I'm losing my damn mind. Why did that one count? Am I, did I take like a, a thing that lowered my HP somewhere in here? Hold on. So. I think I'm losing my mind. Let's do the math. So we start. No, I'm not losing my mind because we because diamond starts with seven HP. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get three HP from uh, where the fuck are you? Uh, Justice, right? 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're supposed to get one and two more here. What the fuck? Game's broken. Hello? Whatever, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. And I'm glad that sentience still worked despite uh, us reaching the health cap, apparently. Which is bullshit. It's fine, though. It's whatever. Has anyone, like... Is this, like... Is this a... Is this a bug? Am I stupid? What happened here? Why am I at the health cap? I'll take this. I don't know. There's just no way to know. There's a tree there. Didn't even see it. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the new diamond build. It's not going to have as big of a kill count, I think, as the last one did, but it's very, as you can see, very strong, very easy to win with. Oh, recharge. We need recharge combined with uh, batteries for the other perk to show up. So maybe this one's brand new for me. I haven't seen what generator does yet. Let's see if we can get it to show up here. We got one, maybe two more levels here if we're lucky. I've been hit. Mayday, mayday. Come on. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. Okay, we're gonna get one more level. And we didn't see it. Damn. Well, you'll have to, you'll have to stick around for next time. Um, next video, we'll be doing probably some sort of elemental build. Maybe trying to mix in. Now, we're probably not gonna play Doom. I don't know. Doom, I think, is probably terrible. But this build... Very strong. Hey, 11k kills is not bad either. As a respectable kill count. Uh, and as you saw, just like the literal most defendable run in the history of mankind. Like very, very cool. I, I think this is neat. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you next time. Goodbye.